Oh, Avion. I did not cover Avion. Okay, the Avion is run off the digital converter, which sits in the back of the Spruce Goose. It uses a gray Category 5E cable. It looks like a big telephone cable, or you might know it as the cable you use to connect your computer to a network, or your modem, or I'm sorry, your computer to that DSL or cable modem or Fios box. Okay, it looks like a big telephone cable. It's got, it's really wide, it's fat. Okay, it's already plugged into the digital converter and it should be coiled up sitting on the Spruce Goose. Run it in the same fashion that you ran the um, uh, snake. The Avion rack itself will be should be buttoned up every week just because it's brand new gear. We're trying to keep it nice. Take that gear um, or take all those panels off. On the very bottom or in the bit in the rack somewhere, you will see something that looks like a hub or a switch. It is just that, a hub, nothing more. You will see eight channels, of which one will already be plugged in. That is for the three rack mounts that are already in there. And then you will see an in and through port. You're going to plug that big Cat 5 cable into the in. Okay? Now, for everybody that's going to be running individual ears, up to four, we have one that's broken, hopefully it gets fixed while I'm gone. You will take a Cat 5 cable, one of the nice black ones, it's pre-made and coiled up already in there, plug it into that hub, and run it out to an A16 II. Now, the remotes are either A16 CS's or A16 II's. There will be four of the twos and three of the CS's. What's the difference? The two is used for um, people individually plugging in their ears at each remote. The CS is used as a remote control for that rack mount. They're a little different. They still require a Cat5 cable, but we'll get to that in a minute. So, back to the A16 tubes, or the A16II. You'll take that black Cat5 cable out of that hub, or the distro, and you'll plug it into the in port on the A16 II. At that point, you should have green lights, red lights, full control, plug in your earphones, ready to go. On The CS's, they're a little more complicated. The Cat5 cable will come out of the rack mounts on the under seat, underneath side. The gray one's already plugged in there, but about halfway down in the middle of it, you'll see another plug for one of those big fat telephone Cat5 cables. You're going to take it from, you're going to plug in there and go out to the A16 to see it, or the A16 CS's. Now you should have remote control over those rack mounts. You can plug those rack mounts either into um, uh, an amplifier for a wedge, which we shouldn't be ever going back to wedges, or to the, um, you can plug headphones into the rack mounts, or eventually we'll get and be wireless uh, transmitters for the headphones. Now the, the headphone jack that's on the back, it's a quarter inch of the A16 CS's is not, are not headphone jacks. That's for some sort of foot switch that we don't have. Do not plug in headphones there and expect to hear something, you won't. And if you do, it won't be what you want to hear. Um, if something doesn't work, If something doesn't work on the, at that point, um, it's on the, you'll, let's see. If you have sound coming out of your main speakers, then you should have a signal going to your distribution hub in the Avion rack. If your Avion rack's not turned on, then you're not going to have anything out to the remotes. 
If your remotes aren't plugged in, then you're not going to have any control or anything on your earphones unless you're using a CS and a rack mount. There will be no way possible that one person is not getting a signal from one instrument or whatever if you have it through the house. If they don't have it, then they need to turn it up in their mix. They control their mix. You don't. You don't have any control over that, except at the converter, and all that is is the head amp. There should be no reason that you should have to touch that um, anytime soon. If you do, talk to Alex or email me. Um, That's about it. Life Church Sound for Dummies. I would insert my email address here, or my email address while I'm on a ship. Should be uh, Christopher.h.stout at navy.mil. That's Christopher.h.stout at navy.mil. Give me an email if you have any problems. I'll try to answer them over email. And good luck. I uh, will be praying for you, and I look forward to seeing you when I get back. Take it easy now. Bye-bye.